Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's better than I was thinking.
Now I'm nervous. I've yet to see anybody do this. So I have no clue what kind of pressure to expect here. I hope I didn't just waste my money. But on Harbor Freight's website, they show this hose combo with this guy spraying on a picture. So let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's better than I was thinking. So let's take a look here. I have 250 gallons in that tote. It is 1145. Let's see how long it takes or how long I could fight a fire with this. Probably not very long, but I'll explain what I'm trying to accomplish here in a minute. Look at the amount of water coming out of this. Look at how high I can get. Oh, my word. Look at that. That is not what I expected. This is awesome. Look at this right here. So if I were fighting a fire, I'd probably have something like this. Can really get out there and it's moving a tremendous amount of water. Now the reason I'm spraying over here in the bushes is that tote had bromine in it or a chlorine, which is great because that's for algae treatment and I don't want algae building up in there. And it's been washed out very well, but I'm not sure what bromine or chlorine will do to my grass and I don't care about all this scrub over here. So until I rinse that tank out a couple more times, I'm gonna spray the water out here. This is awesome. This is so awesome. <laughs> Look at this. I am amazed. I didn't think that little pump was gonna pressurize this volume of water this far. I mean, I'm spraying, I could spray 40, 50 feet into the woods with this. So once we get done emptying this tote, I'm gonna explain why I did this project. It's a fun project, but I did it for a very specific reason. Obviously to fight fires. And I'll explain what all we got going on out here, living way out in the country where we do. This is gonna be so awesome. So awesome. I could already put out a heck of a fire with this amount of water. I'm sure I gotta be getting close to the bottom. I don't know. So I'm smelling the water. That tank must have been cleaned out really well. I don't smell any chemical, any chlorine, nothing. So I think this water is perfectly safe. I mean, look. Look if I wanted to use this to water a yard that is burning up from the summer sun. Look how much water I could put down quickly over grass. This is another reason I really wanted this. I wish I'd have had this a few weeks ago when I planted all the grass seed around our house and we were in a pretty severe drought. It was burning up. I was out with a little garden hose every day just trying to water it and it took forever. Look at, look at how quickly I could water a yard like this. This is insane. This is a crazy amount of water. Nobody wants to get in a super soaker fight with me. That is nuts. That is shooting every bit of 50 feet. Wild. Holy moly, we've been going longer than I was thinking. Okay, we just ran out. I'm gonna go cut this pump off because you do not want to run these pumps dry. We ran exactly five minutes. I'll close that off so this pump is deadheading in water and not running dry. Now here's something a little disappointing. My brand new fire hose. It's got a pinhole leak right here. Now the good news is I can cut that right off and use these reusable clamps to put it right back on. But I'm gonna walk the rest of this hose make sure I don't have another leak. Jeez, thanks Harbor Freight. All right, let's talk for a minute on what the heck I've tried to accomplish here. I started this video a little different than normal, zero talking, so people could see the project, see how it worked, and for our friends that maybe don't speak English and don't wanna hear me yak at the beginning of every video. So now it's the time to talk about what I have built here. 
So first of all, welcome. My name's Andrew. You're watching the Killies Country Life. If this is your first time visiting. We do projects like this often. Actually, I've got a lot more in mind. And as I get free time and a little extra money, I do some of these projects. If you like what you see on the channel, throw a thumbs up and subscribe. So as the title says, I have built me a homestead fire truck right here. I have got a 250 gallon tote. Actually, I've got several of these thanks to a viewer that watches the channel. Really do appreciate you bringing these out to me. And as you can see, it's a different type of tote. This is a UV rated tote right here. It's got a bladder in it that doesn't allow the sunlight to penetrate through. And that's a good thing because I plan on storing water in these and I really want to watch the algae build up. I'm actually probably going to drop some bromine or chlorine tablets in these as these sit year round to keep from uh, any buildup in there. Now you gotta keep in mind chlorine and bromine is corrosive to things like this pump. But the cool thing about this pump right here is it has a drain port right there on the bottom and it has a fill port or a prime port up top. So anytime I get done using this water for say a fire or emergency use, I can flush my pump right out and you need to do that. So we have 50 acres out here in the middle of nowhere. And I'm talking the closest town with a fire station is about 17 miles that way. Another one's 30 plus miles that way. And the actual closest fire station to us is nine miles back this direction. And it happens to be only a volunteer fire station. So we love living out in the country. We wouldn't trade it for anything, but help is a long ways away and we have to take care of a lot of things ourselves. So also living out here in the country, I have neighbors with large acreages of property and doing controlled burns every year is a very common way to clear off a property, to get all the old matted up grass and, and things that you don't want to establish burnt out of the way. And then you get new young tender growth to come up. It's a safe way to control your property, but sometimes things do happen. So at the beginning of the year, springtime, when everything's nice and dead from winter, you'll see a lot of our neighbors burn off and it always makes me a bit nervous. So as you can see behind me, I have thousands of pine trees out there that drop pine straw over on the ground that is just ready to ignite and go up at any point in time. Not to mention we have another 20 acres of woods over here that's full of pines and everything else. And I want nothing to happen to our property. So what inspired me to build this, I come out earlier this spring and I'm looking at a gigantic fire that looks like it's a half a mile or more away. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, man, I hope that was prescribed and controlled. And I'm so thankful it's not here. No quicker than I got to thinking about that, it just starts, the wind shifted, it starts snowing in the yard. I'm trying to figure out what's going on and I realized there was ash falling everywhere on our property that was quite dry, by the way. It sent me in a panic mode. The last thing I want is our beautiful piece of property we worked so hard for to go up in flames. Now, nothing happened, but it's got me really wanting to have something. So it inspired me to build this homestead fire truck right here. So I got 250 gallons of water on tap, ready to go at any time. I have a two inch fire pump that I got from Harbor Freight. You can buy these off of Amazon anywhere. They're all relatively the same. And an inch and a half fire hose kit also from Harbor Freight. So I have built this a very special way. Let me show you. So for starters, you're probably thinking 250 gallons, that's not a lot. Well, that's a tremendous amount of water to put out a small fire. Say I'm burning some brush on the property and I just wanna have this down there in case something takes off on the grass and starts getting out of hand for me. Five minutes worth of water like you just seen can put out a heck of a lot of fire. What if our house over here catches on fire? I've got a hundred foot fire hose here. I can go pick this up quickly with the tractor forks, which are always on the tractor, throw this over there in the matter of a minute or two. I can run a hundred foot fire hose in the house and I can put out a major fire with this. But I have installed cam lock fittings right here on this. That's the beauty of this system. So what that means is I can pop this hose off at any point in time, just like that. I also designed, as y'all seen, my motor cradle here is completely removable. I can take it off in a matter of seconds. So if we're in fire season, I'm gonna have two or three of these totes stacked up under the barn, all full of water, ready to go. And as soon as I run one out, I can fly back up here with a tractor, I can snatch another tote, and I can move all this from one tote to the other in the matter of what, 15, 20 seconds? And then I'm off to the races again, ready to go. 
Now, one thing I got to thinking about, I may make another one of these hang on carriers for a gas can and to have some tools that would help me fight a fire, like a pitchfork or a garden rake, things like that. So there'll probably be a part two to this down the road as I think about things that I want to build. The other awesome thing that I can do, if we're in a severe drought and there's fires going around like there was earlier this spring, there was major forest fires all across Florida, I can put three maybe four, probably three due to the weight of these on any one of my trailers. And I can be ready to go at any point in time, hook up to the trailer and I have 750 to 800 gallons of water. I can tow anywhere around the property, behind the tractor, behind the truck, you name it. And the pump's already on the trailer with all the totes and I can just move it from one tote to the next. And I can fight a pretty significant fire like that. So here is the fire hose kit I got from Harbor Freight. I bet they probably sell these on Amazon if you don't have a Harbor Freight near you. Came with an inch and a half hose and a fire hose nozzle that seems to work quite well. I'm, I'm upset that I already see a small pinhole leak in this, but I guess you get what you pay for there. I can cut that little bit off and get this back going in no time. And I may look for a better setup online with an even thicker braided style hose. Now the other reason I wanted this, anytime I plant new trees around the property, I'll keep one tote that is chemical free. No chlorine tablets, no nothing. I can empty and use it as I please. Did you see how much watering I could do right there? If I plant grass seed, if I plant one of the food plots that I often plant, we're in a severe drought and I wanna go make a few trips out there and put a thousand gallons of water down. I can do that quickly if I plant new trees. Actually, I don't even have to run this pump to go out there and really water a bunch of trees. I can take the other end of this green hose right here, I already have a cam lock fitting on that, put it on the, any one of these totes, open the valve, and allow all this water to free flow out of, well, two inch hose, and I can use it to water around planted trees and things like that. So now I can carry water all around the property uh, to take care of things. We're about to be getting animals here in the future. If I want to put a water trough on the backside or have animals somewhere else on the property, I can keep me a clean water grade tote and carry 250 gallons back there and fill up an entire small trough for animals to drink out of. So this is giving me portable water in more ways than you can realize. But the main reason I wanted it was to help me fight fires and protect our property. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I love building things like this. It worked far better than I expected. I'm amazed at the amount of pressure coming out of this little $200 pump. Honestly, these things are so inexpensive. Uh, these trash pumps are. By the way, this is a trash pump. If, sir, if for any reason I don't have nice clean water in here, it's designed to run up to three quarter inch solids through that impeller but I just don't want any solids making it down to my nozzle and potentially clogging that up. So I'm gonna try to always keep this algae free and treated. So plenty more videos like this coming, probably a part two coming. I'd love to hear your suggestions of what else I need to add. I'm thinking a carrier for tools, something that'll maybe hold a chainsaw, carry an extra gallon of gas. So if I'm actually legitimately out fighting a forest fire or something on the property, I don't need to be running back and forth to the barn if I can help it. I'd love to have a, a little carrier for gas cans and things like that, but I'd love to hear any other suggestions that y'all have. Thanks so much for watching.